President, may I please present Ambassador and Mrs. Grenwald. Yes, Mr. Ambassador. Mr. President, Hi, I'm very good to see you. It's good nice. to see you. It's been quite a while, but here we are finally. Yeah. You're on the way. I think somebody's waiting to get a picture of us, and I think we're here if you need a minute. I think that's the fun of it. That's good. Yeah. I'm glad you're doing this. It's a very important listening post for us. And uh, part of your chore, I think, will be your, our relationship with the freight since the press. Well, I'm very excited, as I told you, very, very grateful for the opportunity. And I'll do my best. I appreciate you doing Wait one second here. We don't want you to forget us, so there. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Mr. President, thank you very much. All the best to you. And good luck to you. President, may I please present Ambassador Zimmerman? Mr. President, very nice to see you, sir. Nice to see you. That's well, I know you've been there and you know the importance of the human rights situation with us, and I think their observance of the Health Secret Act is something we've got to emphasize to them that they want better relations. And it's difficult for us if if they are it isn't a better situation. Mr. President, I'll take that back to my Soviet counterpart. All right. Thank you so much. I've tried to tell them it isn't an opinion of ours. We're governed by you know, public opinion, and it's the public opinion that makes it difficult for us to, to meet them. Right yeah, now. well, I thought the way you handled it with Gorbachev was, was perfect. And that was going to give us a lot of hope that we can get a good result. Well, all right. Well, thank you very much in here, so you won't forget us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. President, may I please present Ambassador and Mrs. Palmer. Hello. Nice to see you again, sir. Ambassador, well, good to see you again. This is Princess Intan from yes. Indonesia. Hello. Mm -hmm. You're, she's uh, in the state of Palm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't meet princesses every day. Oh, she's not much of a princess. Nice to just married to an ordinary American. <laughs> well, shall we? A little closer to him. Look closer. There. I must say that she's one of your greatest fans. Well, thank you. Look at him. Yeah. Can we take one like this? Wait one second here. Don't want you to forget us while you're gone. So just, thank you very much. I'll stick that for you. Okay. Let's work. Now look at him. There. <laughs> well, good luck. And Thank you, Again, sir. Thank you for all that you're doing and all your years of service in this. Thank you very kindly. I had a very great tour in Malaysia when I went out there in 1981, and I even found the yes. little boy. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, we are cementing uh, Malaysian <laughs> American relations. Yes. I don't try that again now, this time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye, sorry. Good luck. All the best. Thanks again. Take care. Introduce Ambassador Bledegar. Well, Mr. President, here. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to see you. My wife, Marcy. Hello there. Nice to see you. My daughter, Lucy. Hi. Nice to meet you. And Charles, who's with me. And I think with the ladies, uh, well, I think maybe we could do it just the way we are. We get a family photo here. All right. Move in just a little bit. Have a little bit. I can kneel down or something. <laughs> Well, I know the, what you're going over there for, and I hope the INF situation has helped things a little bit. Well, we're hoping to have a, uh, a sound, uh, demonstrate that you have a sound approach to conventional arms control that yes. will help with, uh, with ratification, so. Uh, I feel that it has to accompany if we're going to get into the battlefield nuclear weapons. That can only be done because of their superiority conventional weapons. 
if we did with the with the other nuclear weapons as we have done with INF, they would automatically be superior to the, to the NATO forces. Europe so, would be safe for conventional aggression. Yes. yes. And that's we don't want that. That's right. <laughs> I hope we'll have a chance to uh, have you visit before the time is up. If not, uh, we'll be sort of Warren Zimmerman and uh, and uh, Henry Grun Grunwald. We're all three together in the same uh, same capital. So, oh. American colony. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait one second. Somebody just told me recently yeah. that it is not. That if you if you cross your fingers one hand, that's fine. But if you do it both oh, hands, you've got to it <laughs> well, just do it again on one. <laughs> well, good luck. Well, thank you. Thank you. thank you again. All right. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Charlie's at the school that you went to last year. Thomas Jefferson School. Science and Technology there, Special and School. Technology and school. And so we were so thrilled. Coming you today, we just sent. Well, you have messages for them, don't you? <laughs> they just told me to thank you very much for coming. Well, I felt like they the most enjoyable day for me. They didn't schedule me enough at school. So yeah. I like to do that. <laughs> it's a super school, and he's uh, he's really challenged now for the first time. Yeah. And the work is really hard. Right, thanks thanks very much. Have a happy meeting to you. And to you. President Judge Brian Stevenson, President. Hello, Mr. President. How are you? Just fine. Thank you very much for receiving us. Well, this listen, it's good to see you. Thank I don't you. need. Thank you very much. Mr. Roy Shetzel is the Executive Director. Perfect, Mr. President. Hello there. Please take. Nice to have you. Miss Patricia Shetzel. Thank you for having me. Well, please take. Group photo here. Yes. Thank you, sir. I think they're going to. Oh, yeah, she's good. Okay. They don't like empty space between us. <laughs> That's right. Mr. President, uh, on behalf of the International Association of Lions Clubs, a group I know you're familiar with. Yes, sir. I am. I would like to uh, present you with a watercolor that's been painted by one of the more famous uh, artists in Western Canada and a colleague of mine on the uh, provincial bench uh, in, uh, in Calgary. This is a scene between Banff and, uh, and Calgary, Alberta, which, as you know, is the home of the uh, Winter Olympics this year. Yes. And so this, I hope, will remind you of uh, Canada and, uh, and our association of yeah. Lions Clubs. You know, if it keeps on out here, it's going to remind me of the South Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's beautiful, and I thank you very much. I was uh, very near to that country once making a movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it was in summer. <laughs> well, we wanted to uh, thank you for your continuing interest in our association. And uh, certainly we, we uh, are enjoying our work with uh, Mrs. Reagan on our drug program as well. Well, I, I know that. And I just wanted to thank you all very much. I think the Lions Club is probably in the forefront of international service clubs of this kind and what you've done. And uh, if you haven't gotten it, we've just gotten recent news that for the first time, amongst students in the school, your efforts and Nancy's efforts and all of them, there has been a dramatic decline in the use of drugs. That's wonderful news. It's been going up constantly in the past, and suddenly it's taken a nosedive, and they are just saying no. Oh, that's great. That's great. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time to see us today. I know you have a very busy agenda, and, uh, and uh, we look forward to a long and continuing relationship. This is my hometown unit. Uh, 
made me an honorary member many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> thank you again, Mr. President. Well, thank you. Oh, incidentally, I see you. Just a little souvenirs, key rings for you, gentlemen. Well, thank you, sir. That's very kind of you. Stick in for you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much thank again, you. Mr. President. Thank you. Right. It's Mr. William Scott, President, President of the Association. How are you? Well, just fine. Thank you. I think we'd better. Thank you very much. Well, we appreciate your uh, uh, interest in our industry and the good job you're doing, and hope we can uh, support you in the future. Well, you've, Mr. James Biddle. Very supportive. Thank you. Mr. President. Hello there. Nice to see you. We appreciate the uh, support. This is the fourth time I've been able to get here, so I enjoy it. Well, thank I'm going to be thanking you. Michael Boyd. Thank you. 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 Appreciate it. Well, thank you. Mr. Jimmy Craney. Mr. Brad. Good to see you. Good to see you. Mr. Burton okay. Fisher. President. Hello there. How are you? Mr. Robert Hamrell. Hello, is it? My pleasure. Mr. Richard Martin. Mr. President. Hello there. Mutual friend and uh, uh, Gillen, Gillen uh, Water. So oh. you say hello. Yeah, I will. Okay. Mr. Brad Chappell. Hello there. See you. Meet you. Mr. Robert Watkins. Hello. Uh, Harry Bernetti. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you. Look at that. Uh, Mr. Okay. President, we just did your uh, your child home in Dixon, the renovation there. And well, George Lindquist uh, said to say hello to you. Well, for heaven's sake. Let's try to get one more. We're getting yeah. individually. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Mr. Mark Hamill. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Mike Hamill. Thank you. Mr. Robert Watkins. Hello there. My, my pleasure. Mine, well, pleased to have you. Yeah. 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 Uh, the desk. Nice to see you. Denise Hello. Nice to see you. And Joe Hello. Nice to see you again, sir. Thank you for having us up here. That's my cousin, Howard Baker, over there. Not so. He was my landlord. Uh, what is Baker for president? Well, I know you've been point man here in Washington for much of what the patient has done, then I'll take it easy. We've got a lot more to still do. <laughs> we need your, your help uh, very much in the things that are still waiting to be completed here. But I'm deeply grateful to all of you for all that you've done on our behalf. And I'm going to get in there and have another picture. <laughs>
Thank you. With some of the fights we've got on with the budgeting and this thing that's been going up on the hill of sending these bills to you with all the spending and everything, I just came across a quote that I've been telling our fellows today. I can't believe it's an opportunity to use it. William Jennings Bryan said, I didn't say you stole the money. I said, I could have found it if you hadn't helped me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. President. We appreciate the time. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.